Welcome to section two, preparing your first 3D map. In this section, we will start with project automation, which shows you the increased efficiency in your geospatial tasks when programming tools are being used. Then we will continue with familiarize with operational environments in both QGIS and Python. Then we will plot spatial data using Python spatial libraries and visualize a 3D map based on the data that we queried from an open online data portal. Lastly, you'll learn to create your first spatial layer in QGIS from tabular data and turn it into a spatial file. This is section two, video one, project automation. We will learn to automate the creation of a buffered area with a fixed distance for selected bikeways within a city. You can see the bikeways are present in many segments on the map. To manually buffer each section repetitively is time consuming and energy consuming. Here is an example using QGIS built-in buffer tool. With the Python plugin in QGIS, we can simply code and loop the same process for each of the selected bikeways to create multiple buffers programmatically. Here is the code located in your project code folder. We will first import the required libraries for this task and open up our bikeway layer within Python. This opens a list of spatial files from our local file in QGIS, and we will index the first list item for the correct layer display. We will inherit all the selected features and fields from the original spatial files to the newly created buffer zones. Then point to the project folder to output the buffered file. Right click and hold down option and select copy as path name, paste in the script. Lastly, give the output a name in the data folder, buffer bikeways.shape. The writer statement then writes the specified format to file. Here in the loop, we are assigning the geometry of each of the selected features, buffer within a 50 meter unit around each of the segments and output file. Let's copy the script to the QGIS Python console and run. So now our buffered zones are displayed on the map. And if you bring the new layer to the bottom, you can see that the zones are created around the segments we just selected. Now you can see the power of automating a geospatial task. This allows you to apply the skills to many other geoprocessing tools within QGIS.